Hey guys, welcome back. This is Micromus at MH Tutorials, and today we are going to model an ice cube. Now, the thing with an ice cube is that, um, you know, recognizing it as an ice cube uh, depends on shape, on transparency, and on reflection. So, it has a lot to do with lighting and so forth. But we're going to start off with our model, okay? And we'll get to that in a bit. So we're going to start off with a polygon cube. We're just going to drag that out in the grid. We're going to pull that up. And in our attribute editor, just make sure it's square. Okay. So let's say 8 by 8 by 8. Okay. Now we're going to give some subdivision to it, but not too much. The reason is we don't want to have these square corners. All right. So let's do 3 by 3 by 3. Something like that. Okay. We're going to hit 5 for shaded mode. We're going to right click. We're going to go to edge. And we're going to select these outer edges. And just go all the way around with that. And that should be all of them. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to go to our Polygons menu, we're going to go to Edit Mesh, and we're going to go to Bevel. All right. Then we're going to increase segments in our Attribute Editor to, let's say, 6 or 7. And I'll just tweak the offset to see what's, what's kind of the right shape. Now, as you can see, that's too square. Something like, let's say, 0 0.37, something like that. Okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add some subdivision to it. So we're going to go to our top view. We're going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. And we're just going to add some subdivision from these angles here. OK. We're going to switch views. We're going to go to our side view. And we're going to add some there. And I'll explain in a minute why we're doing that. Okay. Okay, let's check this from different angles. Okay, looks like we've got some stuff going on everywhere. We'll add some from this angle. Uh, you don't have to evenly space them out, that's fine. And, you know, I'll uh, explain to you in a sec why that's the case. Okay. Now, we couldn't have done that from the start because we wouldn't be able to round these corners off. All right. Okay, so we've got that. We're going to go right-click, object mode. Just hit Q to get rid of our edge here. Object mode. There we go. We're going to go to animation. Uh, we're going to create deformers, and we're going to select lattice. Go to the option box, edit, and reset. Okay, create. There we go. And then we're going to go to our ladder shape tab and we're going to increase the visions. Not too much. Let's say seven. That's about fine. Maybe seven, 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 I would say. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now we're going to start to tweak the shape a little bit. Okay. So we're going to right click, we're going to go to, actually we're going to select our frame first, and then right click, lattice point, there we go. And we're just going to start to select a number, uh, let's say, and don't do them in an exact square, that's not going to work, okay. We're going to hit W, we're just going to pull it out, and create some bumpy surface, if you know what I mean. I can do the same here. Take one there, push that in a little. Just manipulate that corner somewhat. You don't want it to look anything mathematical, if you know what I mean. Okay, just going to take a few receipts there. Maybe pull that one down. And like I said, it's, you know, this is very much a process of uh, trial and error. You 
can't just uh, simply say, hey, you know, I'm going to take a square and uh, a cube and just undo the last one. You can't just do that and then say, hey, I'm going to create an ice cube, right? Now, what you can also do is you can hit B for soft select, but we'll do that later. As soon as, oops, as soon as we got this basic setup, so push it down a little bit, pull it up a little, push that in somewhat, starting to look okay. Need to address the bottom as well, of course. Just going to take a few there, and we'll just push that in. Pull that out. Okay, you get the you get the point. Okay. Okay, we're going to right click. We're going to go to object mode. We're going to select our object, edit, delete by type, history. That will get rid of our lattice. Okay. Now, if we're still not satisfied, we can right click, go to vertex, and then we'll just you know grab a set, something like that, and just kind of you know. Push it in, not too much. You don't want it to uh, look off, if you know what I mean. Now you need to keep in mind that what you do at one end is repeated at the other end, so keep your movements subtle. Okay. Okay, so now we got that. Now we're going to try something. We're going to right click, object mode and shift right click smooth let's see what that looks like yeah it's not too bad okay all right so that's our basic shape just tweak this a little bit this is a bit too squarey if you know what i mean just gonna take a couple of these and now i can hit b for my soft select Okay, and this helps a little bit to tweak that. So just how you do that is you hit B to undo that. B will activate soft select. And if you hold down your B key, your left mouse button, and you drag in, you'll make the selection smaller, and you drag it out. And when you've got the selection that you want, something like that, you release the B key, and you can just you know manipulate that. Click on a point, maybe pull that up a little bit. And just, you know, keep on tweaking that until you think it looks okay, All right? Okay, something like that. All right, right-click object mode. And now we're gonna start to play with some light and material and so forth. We're going to create a polygon plane just to have something for our object to sit on. We're going to right click on that. We're going to go to assign new material. We're going to make that a Fong E material. And we're going to change that color to black. All right. Next, we're going to select our cube. Right click, assign new material. We're going to go with an MIA, which is a metal ray material, underscore X. We're going to go to our material tab, go to presets, glass solid, and replace. And now we're going to scroll down here. And this is a little bit of a bluish uh, tone here. We're going to select that, and we're going to change that to white. Okay. So we've got that material set up. We're going to go to our render settings. Switch to metal ray because we used a metal ray material. In our indirect lighting, we are going to uh, select global illumination. Okay. We're going to go to caustics. We're going to enable caustics. Increase accuracy to about 300. Okay, something like that. We're going to go to our quality tab. We're going to go to ray tracing. Make sure that's selected. And we're going to increase reflections to 8, refractions to 8, 
and max trace depth, we're going to do the sum of these two, so 16. Okay. We're going to bump that up to 5, 3, and 3. All right. We're going to go to our common tab. We are going to increase our image size to HD 1080, like so. I forgot one thing. Let's go back. In our indirect lighting, we're going to use the image base lighting. So we're going to select that. Then we're going to go and choose an HDRI file. So we're going to click on the folder. I'm going to just uh, quickly pick up one of my files. And for this, I got one called Tokyo Big Site. And if you want uh, free HDRI files that you want to work with, um, you got you can get them in a lot of places. Uh, on my forum, uh, pixels-forum.com, uh, there's a section where you have all sorts of free stuff. So free, free HDRI files, backdrops, and so forth. Okay. Okay, so we've got that file. Okay. We're going to set up some additional lighting. Create lights, point light. I'm going to drag that up, let's say to about there, all right, and then in our light tab, we're going to go down to shadows, and instead of using depth map shadows, we're going to use ray trace shadows, so make sure you've got that selected, okay. Uh, for the rays, we're going to bump that up quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to go with 5 and 15, okay. Let's see what else we got here. Um, we don't need to emit photons just now. Uh, and again, this is a trial and error process. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give it a trial render and see uh, if it's okay or not. Just going to scale that a little bit. Okay. So we'd have something like this. Let's give it a quick render. Just to scale that out. We don't need to see our image base lighting. Okay, let's give this a quick render, see what happens, right? <clears throat> I'll just pause so you guys don't have to wait for this. Hi guys, I'm back. Well, I just, uh, like I said, it's trial and error. Um, I wasn't pleased with the uh, the lighting, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that light there. We're going to hit Control D. We're going to duplicate that. I'm just going to pull that over here. We've got the same uh, refraction settings going on, so that should be fine. Uh, we're just going to zoom in a little on our cube. Just scale that out a bit more. Something like that. And we're just going to give it another render. Okay, let's see where we're at. I'll just pull that out. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, here we go. Well, this is the final render. Uh, as you can see, it looks uh, pretty okay. Uh, don't mind the reflection of my HDRI file going on down here. That's, that's okay. So what's really important is when you model your cube, so to speak, make sure that you don't have any straight angles and uh, all the curves should be uh, as fluent as possible. You don't want any hard edges on a, on a nice cube, okay? Second, as far as uh, light source, uh, I got three light sources right now. I got one that's going around 360 degrees. That's my HDRI file. And I got two point lights set up. That's important because uh, that will increase uh, your reflection on your ice cube. So that's, uh, that's important to remember. And uh, obviously the material choice, which in this case is mental ray material. But also make sure that you use uh, uh, mental ray shadows and increase refraction values, okay? So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you've got any questions, let me know. And if you would like to subscribe, that would be great. Okay, thanks. Bye.